In year one, under Chris Taylor, Andrus once again made a run to the second round of the Texas State playoffs with arguably the best player in the city on their side. Jeremiah Cooper, though, is now gone off to the Big 12 to play for Iowa State, and it's on the remaining Eagles to keep that tradition alive. 12 total starters, including eight offensively, return for Taylor in his second year at the helm in the Northeast, including quarterback Elias Duncan, who appears to have made a leap in the offseason, and the dynamic Malcolm Anderson, who's committed to Army and accounted for over 25 total touchdowns last season. Now, there are spots to fill all over the field at Andrews, but if they get that done with some youngsters, playoffs should be a lock once again. We kind of have a mixed group this year. We have some guys coming back with a lot of experience, like Malcolm Anderson and Elias Duncan, but we also have some young guys, or guys that didn't play a lot last year, that we're expecting to uh, kind of step up into, into some positions that we, we lost some key players in, and we're expecting those guys that, with the experience to lead and show those other guys the way. With these younger guys, they already know what's up. Uh, we're keeping our, keeping our foot on the pedal and teaching these guys what it's going to be like to play on the varsity team. Anders does have a very tough test in week one. They open the season with the road game at the sack against the East Lake next Friday. August 26th is also the first night of nine overtime on KTSM at 10.15 p.m. sharp. As you know, the best high school football wrap-up show in the borderland. We cannot wait to bring it to you. Also, our Ultimate Football Guide preseason preview magazine is now available on our website, KTSM.com. Printed copies are available soon. Do not miss our Studio 9 Ultimate Football Guide half-hour special of the high schools UTEP and New Mexico State. And of course, the reveal of our fine nine players to watch in the borderland. That special airs this Friday at 6.30 p.m.